That's the only thing I can think of right now is just let's go get more oak wood before the sun sets. All right. So this this guy in here, I don't think there are name tags in this version of Minecraft. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, name tags? Named, unnamed, no, it was just unnamed. Okay, that's weird. This is the opposite of name tags. Unnamed tags. I, I don't even think you can change the color of a um, a pet dog's color with a thing. Name tags don't even exist in this version of Minecraft. Like I said, we're working with limitations and we're doing the best that we can. So. These are still going, and we only have five. This is why I try to do this off camera, uh, is because like these particular things can be a little bit annoying to wait on and babysit. But I can come over here, and we'll just do this a couple times. Is there an apple? It did pick it up, right? Okay. There's a little guy over here. Another apple. Cool. Let's see. If it spawns one of these awkward trees with like branches that come out, I don't know. It's just gonna have to wait. Uh, but these normal trees with one large trunk is okay. You know, if I run around that little farm over there and start bone mealing the trees, will it still cut them down? Or do I have to wait for them to do it? Like, would that break the machine, maybe? I hope not. I don't want to do that. I don't want to break anything. Hmm. Some apples would be cool. I don't know if you can get enchanted golden apples in this game. Let me check. No. Okay. Yeah, just regular apples. I mean, you can make a golden apple, but there's no enchanted golden apple in this version of the game either. You take a lot of things for granted when you play an older <laughs> Like, you just like, yeah, I'll just get an enchanted golden apple. Everything would be great. There isn't one, and it doesn't do anything. So... I need to find a way to farm diamonds better. Oh, apples. Give me your apples. I am Steve Appleseed. I think... Yeah, look. It doesn't even have my skin. Which is a cat. My skin is actually like, you know thing I designed to make it look like a cat with glasses and it is not because this is an older version of Minecraft it doesn't connect to that particular server that holds the Minecraft skins weird I know but let's see what we got here we got 31 more quid okay that's acceptable, I guess. And the other reason I wanted to go up a third level is because it's less roof that I have to make. <laughs> I mean, it's a really a lazy way of saying I don't want to make more roof. Let me just um, make the top part where the roof would be a smaller area. But it's still going to be kind of awkward. No, actually, no. It shouldn't be too awkward. It shouldn't be being the operative word here. <laughs> All right, we'll get this. No, nope. we'll get this stuff in here real quick.
What just happened? Oh, it is an Enderman. Look at him. He's hanging out over there. Oh, he's got a block. He's happy. He should calm down. Oh, what? Wait, I'm not looking at you, but I'm just, just curious, man. What's going on? Is everything okay? You seem a bit upset. You know? You look you look a bit perturbed. Is there anything I can do for you, sir? Yeah? Yeah? Is that, a, is that so? Mm-hmm. What's up? Uh, not much. Just building a, you know, just building a tavern here. I, I think I just said what was up. Do I need to repeat myself? Look look for the eye? Okay. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for the eye. So, yeah. We'll do this part over here. Uh, well, did we do that properly? Yeah, okay. We did not, because it should be a window. He's still over here somewhere. So that should have a little, yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks interesting. It looks interesting. Maybe I should put another balcony over it, like a canopy kind of thing. I don't know. I do not know. Oh, I, I need food. This food situation has to be remedied. There's a storage situation and a food situation. So, hmm. I, th you know, it would be interesting to have some sort of like, I don't know. I mean, there should be tables and chairs or something out here on the balcony. That'd be great. But, just wondering if there's anything else I should be doing to make that look more interesting. You know? Like, should these be in here or should I have like some other kind of way of making the corners because the way that this balcony back here looks is freaking awesome I like this but it's like you know you don't really see that all the time because it's on the back porch of that house this one's going to be like up front and you can see it because it's going to be part of like the vista of coming up through this little town and then there'll be like a really tall building right here compared to these other buildings which are not going to be as tall as that one. Like, yeah, it's actually, you're, you're going uphill with these buildings. Like this one is on like the first level, this one's on the second level, this one's on the next level up. And actually, it's in actually two blocks above the previous one. So you're dealing with houses that are like this one is three stories, but this one is three stories and it's also up too. So it's, you're looking at like a slow incline of buildings kind of. Yeah. And also like that second floor is a little bit chunky looking. I don't know. I just keep using that word. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Right. So here we go. Do we have... Hmm. Okay. We do have glass viewers, so we can throw those in there real quick. If I can figure out how they work. And then there's another one over here. So 
like there there are windows over here that don't even have those little um, things on them yet. There's a door here that doesn't have like a door on it, you know. So from you have to look at it from other points of view too. Like how does it look from this building over here? How does it look from up on top of the castle, you know? It's not done, but, you know, you look at it from afar, you go, oh, those look like, you know, houses. And that's the intent. And they have to look like, it has to look like it's part of, like, a town. Or a, it's supposed to be a city, really. It's a kingdom, so. I don't even have things like, you know, castle walls or anything like that around this place yet. Okay. And I'm wondering if I should put things on the inside for these windows, too. I don't know. What do you think? What is your opinion? I welcome all comments. But we need more wood. That is the eternal problem. Wood. Like nether brick is never going to be a problem. I have a whole nether full. I have a whole fortress full of nether brick that I can cannibalize if I so desire. And there's plenty of stairs in it too, so I'm not worried about that. But what I do worry about is running out of wood. And so, like this only still has five in it. Like, what's going on? Is it out of something? It's not out of anything. There's still this stuff and trees in here. So, and I've got plenty of apples. We'll just... Where did they go? Huh? What? What the hell is going on? Oh, right. I, I wasn't thinking about it. What it does is it takes all of the, the tree-related items like apples, trees, um, this stuff. What is going on? Oh, okay. There we go. So it's working. It only works when I'm in proximity to it, so it's a bit awkward, kind of. Wow. You will never want rubber again. I guarantee it. I guarantee you will never need rubber. So I can do all kinds of circuitry, like... I really need to work on more. Like circuitry and, like, stuff you can make with rubber. Like, look, let's look at it. With sticky resin, you can make rubber. Or, what? can make sticky dynamite. Neat. I haven't done that before. But with rubber, you can basically make copper cable, gold cable, a scuba helmet. You can make your um, hazmat suit. Yeah. You can make a rubber sheet. And rubber sheet, you can make, I don't know. Um, went through all those. Okay, good. Or you just cop one copper cable. You can put it on an assembly machine. You can make rubberized electron tubes. I don't know what those make. What is that? Doesn't make anything. But I think you can jump on them. You can like make a a bouncy pad with them. <laughs> but they're good for making the uh, copper cables, which yeah, copper cables are pretty much used in. You make electrolyzers, illuminators. This is like an end rod, an early version of the end rod, more or less. Um, transformers, batteries, more batteries, RE batteries, readers, scanners, a solar helmet. You know what? 
that might be the solution to our jetpack problem. I think it, that that is the solution to our jetpack problem is a solar helmet because that in the daytime will actually recharge your backpack. Huh. So how do you make a solar panel? Silicon plate. Oh. Uh, a silicon cell and an industrial blast furnace. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. A solar helmet. That sounds pretty cool. But what does it do? Uh, well, we need more birch wood too. That's another thing to consider. Is there birch trees over here? There are some birch trees over here. We don't need that many because we're just making um, flooring. Uh, we are okay. Let me go put. Let me go put this rub uh, sticky resin somewhere. See, compared to the other buildings here, this library with its weird facade of just being like that looks really bland and I apologize for that I am so so sorry that you have to look at that boring ass building um yeah still oh well there's these up here I think I want to work on this building at some point too. I really think that you could redo this building so that it has the same design elements as the other building while still being like a sturdy, like beefy kind of building. Right now it just looks like, hi, I started a building and then didn't finish it. <laughs> Although, yeah, you can make the upper level of this more like these buildings to fit in. And then, but still have this inside of it to be, you know, more industrial looking. I don't know. I don't want it to burn down though. <laughs> so maybe you could do it with like that on the bottom and some other material on the top. I'll figure it out, but it has to look like, you know, a blacksmithy kind of Maybe like a dwarven style building. Yeah. Yeah. With like a brick roof. Let me see if brick. Yeah. With like. See, this is so weird. They make basalt bricks, right? But they don't make any basalt brick stairs. What? Like, there are brick stairs. There are nether brick stairs. There are stone brick stairs. But no basalt brick stairs. Who who did this? Who is responsible for this? There's even red rock brick stairs. That might be a good color. I'm not sure. We'll figure something out. But, hmm. Okay. So I needed birch trees. I was trying to free up my inventory space. So I can get some birch wood for the floor of the second story. I swear to God, if this axe breaks, <laughs> I'm gonna be so unhappy. Now, birch wood is not necessarily something that you would make these support beams with. So I don't care about using it as the floor perfectly fine. Uh, let's see. All right. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's almost time for me to stop streaming. I got like eight more minutes. Eight more minutes of building. We can finish the floor in that short amount of time, I think. Yay! Because I'm usually trying to do like 30 minute blocks of time in which I am building. More than, you know, 30 minute block, 30 minute block, etc. Uh huh. So, yeah. And then we want the regular oak wood ones are not in my inventory, but I was in need of these more. So, here we go. <laughs> They're, you know, it's easy to know how to place them if you can do it properly. Um, then I think the other thing is, interestingly enough, the the walls are going to have to come in here. Like, there are going to be walls for like a room here, a room here. You go upstairs and then there's another room up there. So having a bunch of different rooms uh, is going to be part of the fun. And then like down here, the ceiling will be up that high. Yeah. I really need to put some light in there. More light than previously. Yeah. So it's really starting to look more and more how I want it. I don't want to I don't want to make it in creative. But if I have to, I I have access to creative in this, but I only do that if it's something like I I want to know how a certain mod works. I only do that in creative. And then I destroy it and work out how to actually make it. Sometimes I have I have no idea how the mods in this particular mod pack work, so I, I I put things in here in creative and figure it out, destroy it, and then do it the normal way, just so I know how it works. Experimentation, more or less, not necessarily like I'm cheating, but like I want to know how this works. How do I do this? What is what does this mod actually do? How can I make it work for me? Not necessarily like spoilers, but you know, or as like a tutorial. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, so you have some windows back here like these. Hmm. I kind of just could just skip this and go to the next floor. <laughs> yeah. It's going to look weird on this. I think I think combining some houses up here might make this look less weird. You know. Yeah. And then you have little buildings like this right here. Like this does, doesn't necessarily serve any purpose. <laughs> it's just it's like, hey, there's a little building down here. So. But it's starting to look, it doesn't look like much now because it's incomplete. But once it's done, you'll see that there are just a bunch of rooms here. Everything is, is great. Everything is going to look just fine. Uh, we need to go across this back wall here with some of these. There we go. Yep. Actually, since we have these little overhangs here, I think I can get away with putting these on here. 
Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. And as I'm about to leave, this is when usually people pop their head and say, Oh, you're streaming? Oh, how's it going? What's going on? How are you? Uh, like, mm, I, I, mm, I, you know, you should have showed up like 10 minutes earlier or something. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's generally how this top floor is going to be. And, you know, I should probably... Because we want to have the wall on the inside here be part of the room. So you basically have to do this to make it complete. Yeah. I think you kind of want to have there be like this. Yeah. To be the room. Let's see. That isn't necessarily how I want to make that because that's not... It's, um... Oh, really? Hang on. Is that in here? Oh, well, here we go. We got oak wood in here. Let's do it like that. We can actually do it properly. Mm-hmm. And then... I'm not sure if I have these woods properly. There we go. And we'll do this. on this top level here too because like you kind of want whole blocks yeah like that and that'll kind of give like you know a little bit of flavor to that wall and it won't just be like oh here you go here's your wall <laughs> and then the door will be like raised up a little bit maybe here we can do it like this actually no. Hmm. What are you doing? Okay. But yeah. See, and then the door can be like right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So maybe you have to give me this here, right? There we go. And the door can be like right there. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a, that's a good that's a good start. Let me make an actual door though. I want to see how well this works. Right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can get in here, okay. That's cool. Alright, so I think that's it for me right now. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs>